What's going on YouTube? Wesker Griff coming back with a mail day recap video. I got one spring train return, finally, so that's really cool. Uh, also got a package in from YouTube, a uh, surprise uh, photo package coming from Mr. Mike O. So I'll share that with you. Then I got two pickups from uh, eBay. One's a PC pickup and one is a non-PC pickup. So I'll show the pickups first. Uh, this first card here, got this for really cheap and the card has a couple issues on it but it's no big deal because it's not a big name player or anything and I got it for real cheap but this is out of 2007 UD Black Baseball uh, numbered out of 50 paid like four bucks for this card four, four or five dollars and uh, it's the game day lineups and I really like these cards they're really thick uh, I have an Aaron Rowan signature um, on one of these but this one is the Oriole version with Melvin Mora. And uh, really cool cards. The signature is right here in silver. I like that. They're on card. And uh, the number is right here on the side. And it has the lineup, um, game day lineups from May 25th, 2003. So I really like these cards. They're sharp couple issues on the card where there's like a lot of scuff like chipping right here and on the sides here but it's no big deal it's only like I said I only paid five dollars four to five dollars for it so so really small pickup for my O's PC uh, then next I picked up this card uh, as an investment card I bought a bunch of this guy's stuff about a year ago uh, to send to someone on YouTube. I bought about like three or four cards of this guy and at the time when I bought it it was you know not super expensive but like middle of the pack uh, but now this guy's getting more and more hype and his cards are rising so fast um, and this is out of 2014 Bowman Inception. This is an on-card autograph. I got this for an auction price. I uh, paid like about 16 I think 16 or 17 dollars and I uh, was happy to get it Mr. Aaron Judge so he's starting the season I think off in double A but the dude is built like a monster he's like six foot six foot eight I think uh, he crushed I think two home runs against the Phillies this so far in spring training he looks really really good um and yeah, I picked up a, bu a couple of his cards, like I said, sent them to a couple YouTubers, and I didn't keep any for myself. And I said to myself, if this guy turns into a mega stud, and I don't have any cards of him now, when I was told by people that he's really good, I'm going to look like a dope. So, might as well, you know, get one card of him while they're affordable. So, that's what I did. So, happy I did that. So, I have one in case he becomes super crazy. I can at least say I have one. Uh, so there's that. Next is the TTM. This is out of Orlando, Florida. And this guy was signing up a storm and I sent him and I didn't get anything back. So I was really, really concerned. Uh, but it did come. Uh, the one card kind of got mangled. I'll show you guys. But it is coming back from Evan Gaddis. He signed this blue parallel rookie insert. Pretty generic signature there. I didn't know his signature was like that, but it's kind of like a Manny Machado signature where it's just like MM. He just puts like EC or EG. So. And then he signed this one. And there's the corner that got really mangled. You could uh, turn up the uh, digital HD on a 1080p and see the, the corner a little better, but no big deal. I'm just happy to get a return. So, overall in spring training this year, I did, I think, half decent. I mean, I got some players that I was happy to get. I only sent out about 20 requests. I'm, I don't go crazy like some people. Some people send out about like 100 or 90 or whatnot, over 50. But I only send out about a few. And I did get, I did get a, at least five or six back. So, uh, I would call that half decent. But 
I haven't gotten back from a couple people that I've already sent to that are sure fires. So uh, hopefully those will wind up coming in. So there's that. And next, uh, got this from Shutterfly. It's coming from Mr. Mike O. He surprised me, sending me some photos. Uh, these are all custom photos that Mike actually did, and they're all 5x7s. We got some really nice fillies here that I may be able to get signed at the Phillies Festival this year. We got Darren Ruff, which is really cool. Maybe I'll get, I'll probably get that signed if I do get a Darren Ruff ticket. We also got Cody Ashy. Chase Utley, who I'm hoping to get this year. I really, really want to get him on a baseball. So, got him. We got Ben Revere. This is really cool. Center field there, it says. Ryan Sandberg, the manager. Cliff Lee, who is out for the season. The Philly Fanatic. Another Chase Utley. And this really cool Chase Utley. What this is in Bank Park behind. So really, really cool. Thanks, Mike, for thinking of me and sending me that. Uh, sending those photos my way. Definitely put them to good use. Hopefully, like I said, I'll get a couple of them signed so I can show you guys these photos again. So thank you, Mike. And I'm going to leave his link down below, guys, so please go check him out. And that's all I got for you. Um, last thing I just want to touch on, this is not sports card related or anything related. This is actually for uh, Mad Wamba. Uh, he did a video of some Shogun Warriors uh, figures that he picked up. He didn't really know too much about them. Uh, I should preference this to the people watching the video who don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, this um, uh, Star Wars collector, uh, toy collector named Mad Wamba. Uh, I'm subbed to a lot of different people, and uh, he's one of the people I'm subbed to, and uh, he does uh, action figures, Star Wars stuff, and everything, but he picked up these Shogun Warrior figures, which were released by Bendai, and it comes in the packaging, this type of packaging, as you can see. These are my uh, Gundam figures. These are imported figures from Japan. Uh, they're part of the uh, Action Line series, uh, but Bendai puts them in the same packaging as these. And uh, this one's the Zuda, which is from the MS Oogaloo series. Uh, with these figures, um, they always put like Mobile Suit and Action up here, but uh, I've seen uh, some other Mecha series where, like for instance, or Battler Dunbine, they'll put Dunbine in Action. So I'm not sure on your figures, Man Wamba, but. They probably have the name, the, the the name of the figure in there, and and then it'll say in action. But the series is always listed right here where the figure comes from. This one comes from MS Oogaloo, which is a OVA series uh, in the uh, Gundam franchise, and then this one comes from the Eighth Mobile Suit Team, which is a OVA series, and they're two different figures. Uh, the Zuda and the Goof Custom. Uh, this one, uh, they're both Xeon mobile suits. Uh, but I actually recently just picked this one up off of eBay. I've been trying to find a really decent figure for this because I really like that mobile suit. And I uh, picked it up oh, about like two weeks ago for uh, 15 bucks. So I was really, really happy about that. Really nice figure. I can show you the back of it. I don't read Japanese, so I'm not sure what it says here on the back, but it just gives you the model number, the EMS-10, and then the Zuda, then it has a couple pictures here, some action shots, some different poses that you can pose the figure, because these figures are really are, are articulate uh, on how you can do the poses and stuff, and it comes with a whole bunch of different weaponry. I know on, I think the figure that you showed, it had a couple different um, accessories that came with it uh, so you can pose them differently but you can't buy these in the stores they're pretty tough to come by uh, this one over here I actually got it at a convention at Otakon I think I got it I'm going to say I got it around 2007 or 2008 so I, I 
searched for it on eBay one time just to see how much it sold for, and I couldn't find one. But I kept both of these. I kept this one in the box. I never opened it. This one, the seller said he opened it and displayed it, and it was uh, he just repackaged it. So I didn't have a problem with that because it, it's really a tough figure to find. It's a pretty obscure figure because it's from a very obscure series. So happy to uh, add these. So I figure I showed that for you, Mad Wamba. You were asking about it. So hope you enjoy. Uh, and if you're still watching, guys, thank you very much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And peace.